Grade 8 English Voyagers and welcome aboard Dep Ed TV. I'm your teacher Frenny, Teacher Rami. Get ready and enjoy learning and studying English right at the comfort of your home. So come on, get your pen, paper, and your self-learning module and let's start to learn and to love English. In our previous episode, you learned about the use of modals. Let us see how well you remember the important concepts and functions through this activity. Read the sentences and study the underlined words and the ideas that they express. Number 1. I would rather spend and enjoy my journey here on Earth because life is short. The underlined word is would. Number two, if only I could talk to God, I would ask Him to heal our land. I would also request that peace on earth would prevail. The underlined words are could, would. Number three, as Filipinos, we must obey the laws of the land. In addition, we must respect and love one another. The underlined words are must. Number four. Due to a weather disturbance, we may experience occasional rains. Therefore, we must always bring our umbrellas with us. The underlined words are may and must. And number five. No one can visit patients under quarantine even though they need the care and support from their families. The underlined word is can. What do we call those underlined words again? What do they express? The underlined words are called modals. These modals express different uses, giving preferences, stating probability, expressing obligation, indicating possibility, giving prohibition, asking permission, seeking advice, showing ability, making a request, demonstrating willingness, and manifesting a lack of necessity. You sure have a good memory! Let's go back to the sentences. Have you noticed the words written in bold print? Do you have an idea of what they are? because we will discuss what these words are in today's episode. But wait! I want to know first how you are feeling today. Are you feeling happy? <laughs> are you feeling excited? Yay! Are you feeling energetic? <laughs> these are such great feelings, right? However, we don't feel good most of the time. Sometimes, we also feel lonely and restless. Have you ever felt that way? If you did, how did you deal with these feelings? The poem entitled Sunshine will inspire you to look at the brighter side during difficult times. As you listen to the poem, be ready to answer the questions that follow. Write your answers on a piece of paper. Sunshine by Maribel Azote Cabalan Buco Simultaneously, we all made a stop. Unfortunately, threats and trials were rough. Nonetheless, to keep everyone safe, similarly, stay at home is what we make. However, with lots of twists and turns, in other words, it's full of challenges. Nevertheless, it all went well. Eventually, 
life is back as well. How did you find the poem? It's a nice poem, right? What do the letters S, U, N, S, H, I, N, E stand for? Yes, S stands for simultaneously. U stands for unfortunately. N for nonetheless. S for similarly. H is for however. I is for in other words. N is for nevertheless. E is for eventually. These words are what we call transition signals or transitional words. To help you better understand transition signals or transitional words and deepen your knowledge and understanding of this concept, let us discuss this topic in greater detail. Let's begin by studying the following sentences. Number one, unfortunately, threats and trials were rough. Number two, life is full of challenges, however, it all went well. In sentence number one, the transition signals unfortunately and end are used to connect two incidents equally. While in sentence number two, the transition signal, however, introduces the opposite ideas. Take note that simple conjunctions serve different purposes. Conjunctions that join words, phrases, or clauses together are the most basic transition signals. The words unfortunately, and, and however, are examples of transition signals. Transition signals are words and phrases that connect ideas or sentences and paragraphs for coherence. They also indicate building up new ideas or thoughts or compare ideas or draw conclusions. Transition signals are tools to create coherence and consistency which make the relationship between ideas clear to the reader. Transition signals are of different types, and each type helps to make certain connections. For today's episode, we will look into the first four types of transition signals. The first type of transition signal is comparison and contrast. To compare means to emphasize the things that are the same while to contrast is to draw out the things that are different. This transition signal is used to point out similarities or differences. And here is the list of transitional signals for comparison and contrast. Example sentence. My mom loves pasta, but she dislikes spaghetti. Similarly, she does not like lasagna. On the other hand, she loves macaroni. Likewise, she loves pancit kanton guisado, pancit bihon guisado, sotanghon, and palabok. The transition signals used for comparison in the example sentence are similarly and likewise. While the transition signals used for contrast are but, and on the other hand, the next one that we have is time, chronology, sequence. This transition signal helps define time. It also helps in explaining the order or chronology of something. The following are the transition signals used for time, chronology, sequence.
and here's our example sentence. Before you go to the stadium to watch your favorite basketball game, make sure that you have your snacks and video camera that you will use during the game. Later, you will find it enjoyable when you can simultaneously eat while videotaping. The transition signals used in the sentence to indicate time, chronology, sequence are before, during, later, and simultaneously. Then we have cause effect. This transition signal shows the relationship between the consequence of an action and also indicates a result or effect. And here's a list of transition signals used for cause and effect. Take a look at our example sentence. Since you have been a consistent honor student and a skillful one, therefore, there would be a possibility that you would graduate cum laude or be cited with a technical skills award in college. As a result, you would have a better chance to find a job or be an entrepreneur because some companies would prefer applicants with impressive school records or those with technical skills. The transition signals used to indicate cause and effect are since and because, while therefore and as a result are used to indicate an effect. And the last type of transition signal that we have for today is illustration and example. This transition signal adds emphasis or introduces evidence. An example or illustration will be given to make an idea clear. The following are the transition signals used for illustration and example. Is our example sentence. Mateo loves vegetables. Truly, he is happy to eat them every day. Namely, pinakbet, chapsui, and vegetable salads. To demonstrate his love for vegetables, Mateo is planning a vegetable party for all his friends. The transition signals used for illustration are truly and to demonstrate. And the transition signal used for example is namely. In the next episode, we will continue discussing the other types of transition signals. You may do some advanced reading of the topics that we will discuss on page 7 and 8 of your self-learning module. That concludes our lesson for today, Grade 8 English Voyagers. Make sure to always stay tuned to DepEd TV and have a journey with me in Grade 8 English where you will have fun and interesting learning experiences that will not just feed your mind but will also nurture your love for English. Again, this is Teacher Rami, your friendly, saying, Don't fret, because learning English is not a threat. Instead, it is our gateway to understand and learn more about the world.